Have you ever listened to people in an argument and realize that they're both arguing the same point? They're saying it differently and they're neither one is catching on to the fact that they're actually arguing two sides of the same point, actually the same side of one point, if you say that properly. So why is this? What is it that makes people have these arguments when they're actually saying the same thing? And the reality is, is that they're not either one being heard. Each one is working so hard to be heard, to be understood, that they're not hearing what the other person is saying. They're not actually hearing what the other person is saying. And that piece, that critical piece comes from the base where we feel insecure. We feel like I need to be filled up first. My cup needs to be filled before I can fill yours. And while there is validity in that, the thing is, is that in a conversation that doesn't often lead to us actually having a conversation in a way that facilitates movement, it facilitates the outcome that we're looking for. So when we're looking to actually have somebody understand us, there's some basic skills. And the reality is, is that we need to employ some things first before those basic skills. But let me give you the basic skills first. So when you're having a conversation, you want somebody to understand you. The worst thing you can do is constantly trying to explain or justify or reason out why you're doing something, where you're coming from, what your intentions are. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to get connected to the person. You want to find out from them what is going on for them. So listen to them or acknowledge what you think it is. So if you have a difficult conversation that you're moving into, it's like, I realize that this is not going to be comfortable, that this is not going to be the most enjoyable conversation we've ever had. Having that door open up allows you to connect with that person. Now, when it comes to, you know, getting that information back and forth, once you've opened up the conversation and you've stated what's going on. So let's say you need to fire somebody. You have a business and you need to let somebody go. You can say, I, this is not going to be comfortable and I know you're not going to like it. And unfortunately, I need to do this because this is where we got to go. So I need to let you go. I really appreciate everything that you've done and... I still need to let you go. So I want to be here. What do you need for support? What would make this transition easier for you? Putting out the questions to them. Okay, now this is kind of an extreme example in the difficult conversations. I always like to tend to pick the really big ones. But let's say you've got something milder where it's like, I just don't like what you're doing. I need you to change. Um, maybe somebody's not wearing deodorant, you know, to work. So pulling them aside and you say, okay, listen, this is really uncomfortable for me to say, but I need to tell you something about your personal hygiene. Can I do that? Can we have a discussion? Asking them permission to talk about it engages them. It allows them to know that you actually care rather than railroading them. And yes, it's going to take a little extra time to go through this, but you need to get them on board, right? Acknowledging that it's going to be uncomfortable, acknowledging that they, you know, are welcome to feel uncomfortable and then get permission to actually say what it is. And then you can tell them what that is. And again, you're going to be asking them questions. So when they come back and they may want to come back with a justification of why or what's going on, then ask the probing questions. You know, maybe they come back and they say, well, I don't wear deodorant because I react to it. It's like, oh, OK, is there another option? Can I help you find a natural solution that would work? Would you be open to that? Asking questions, right? You want to ask lots and lots of questions, understand what is going on with them and probe, right? So you can maybe find out, is it a reaction or is it a personal choice or is it something, you know, they just forget when they're getting dressed, they get, they don't, they're not morning people, so they don't tend to think of it. You know, ask the questions instead of assuming. And I know this is kind of like a silly one and hopefully you don't have to deal with this with your employees that they actually show up with deodorant um, for the personal hygiene is always appreciated. But the example nonetheless stands that 
we want to ask the probing questions that allow us to kind of be a bit more of an investigator with an open mind, no conclusion. You don't have a conclusion going in. You're like, I wonder, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is for them. Let me understand what it is for them. That really opens the door. Now, here's the key. Here's the key. And here's where it comes into what I'm really good at, which is helping you to get the fuck out of your own way. Getting rid of the bullshit and the programming, the imprints out of your system. When we can do that, when we're digging in deeper, then when you show up with that curiosity, it is easier to show up with curiosity because otherwise all of your expectations, all of your triggers come up in that scenario. All of the things that get fired off of like, well, that must mean that they're disrespecting me or, oh my goodness, I can't believe that they would do that. How could they? How would they put my business in jeopardy like this if they're a frontline person? All of those kinds of things come up and that comes out in your voice. It comes out in the tone. It comes out in the pace. It comes out in your breath. And it shows up. Even if you don't want it to show up, it shows up. So doing that deeper inner work allows you to put the basic skills of asking questions, being curious, being that investigator into place a lot easier. And the more difficult the conversation, the more important it is to have done that inner work, to have dug in, to pull out the triggers that are going on, moving them out of the way so that you can show up in that conversation and have an entirely different outcome possible than you ever imagined. So if you are ready to dig in, change things on a deep level, grow you to grow your business, then it is time for us to have a conversation. Head over to bookdana.in. That's bookdana.in. We'll see you soon.